Now, Jay, when it comes to the time, you know, like to change the filter, does the Delphi have a, a way to notice that? Can you explain that? Sure, Katira. Great question. The Delphi has right on the front of the faucet an LED filter life indicator. Mm -hmm. When that filter life indicator reaches the top of the scale, you know it's time to change the filter in the Delphi. Let me show you how to do that. Oh, great. I need to know that. The last feature on the Delphi faucet I'd like to show you is the filter life indicator. The filter life indicator is located on the Delphi front LCD control panel at the bottom. Let's turn the Delphi on. And in this case, you can see that the filter life indicator is not registering. That's because this is a brand new unit. And this is what yours will look like out of the box. As the filter life starts to expire, you'll start to see little LED lines and they'll climb all the way up this dark space to the bottom of the word purified. When they reach the top of that scale, it's time to change your filter. Changing the filter on your Delphi is simple and easy. I'm tracing the outline of the filter housing door with my finger. To remove this filter housing door, we'll simply press on the outside edge and slide it up and pull it out. The filter is in a spring-loaded mechanism, so with two or three fingers on the top, we'll push down to engage the spring-loaded mechanism, pull out towards you, and remove the filter. This is very important. Remove the filter cup and reinstall it immediately into your Delphi. Your new filter will not go into the port without that. Now let's replace it with the new filter. Your new filter will come with caps on either end. We'll want to remove those caps and position the filter so that you can read the writing on the label with the large fitting on the bottom and the smaller fitting on the top. We'll engage the, small, the larger fitting into the filter cup, push down to engage the spring, and seat the top fitting in and then we'll make sure that it's in there securely. If it's not, you'll have a leak from your filter housing and that'll be readily apparent. Next, with your machine plugged in, we'll reset the filter life indicator by pushing down and holding the filter life reset button for five to 10 seconds. Lastly, we'll reinstall the filter housing door by lining up the tabs on the door with the slots on the machine, pushing it against the frame and sliding it down into place. And you've got your new filter. What happens when my ionizer won't light up or doesn't operate? Well, hopefully that will never happen. But if okay. it does, the first thing that you want to do is check the outlet to make sure that you've got power to it. The easiest way to do that is to plug an appliance that you know works into the outlet mm -hmm. and see if it works. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, then chances are your circuit breaker is flipped, so check that next. Ah. If you have power to the outlet, then chances are it's the fuse. Let me show you how to replace the fuse. If you ever need to replace your fuse, this is the fuse holder. We'll begin by unplugging the power cord and turning the machine around to access the fuse holder. The next thing we'll make sure just to be safe to turn the power switch off. The fuse holder is right next to the power switch and it's a threaded component so we'll simply unscrew it to remove the old fuse. You simply remove the fuse by pulling on it and inserting the new fuse into the holder and reinserting the whole assembly back into the fuse holder and re-threading it. Finger tight's good enough. Lastly, turn the machine back around, plug it back into the wall, and power it up. There are a few key points that I'd like to cover in summary. Remember to use professional installation. Improper installation could void your valuable warranty. Remember, give your body a gradual and natural period of adjustment to the increase in pH in your drinking water. Start at the lowest setting or a one, stay there for five to seven days until you're completely comfortable, then move to the next setting and repeat that process. 
once you've slowly adjusted, you can experiment with the higher levels of pH, say three or four, but remember, there's no research that indicates the highest level of pH or alkalinity in, in the drinking water produces any more of the health benefits. Always try and drink the water straight out of your Delphi, but if you must store it, store it properly in the best containers possible. And lastly, if you have any further questions, refer to the excellent owner's manual that came with your Delphi unit. Always try and drink the water straight out of your Delphi unit when its healthful qualities are at their peak. But if you must store it, try to use the best container possible, ideally an Ion Ways bottle. That will preserve the healthful qualities longer than any other container. But remember, it's best to drink it right out of the Delphi.